Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Reigns Academy. Uh, my name is uh, Vishal. In this video, I will show you how to set up Gobo images or the light filters in the lights. And these light filters enhance the mood of the scene. We are, instead of adding a window model and tree model behind and casting light through it, I just added a black and white image uh, into the light and then got this beautiful render. Um, so let's explore these Gobos in the video without further ado. So let's get started with the scene. Here I've got a doji model and I've got three polyspheres placed across the scene and I've got a background which is uh, representing the ground and uh, the wall here. It's a simple plane which I've extruded and then I've arranged a camera here. So how did I arrange a camera and uh, if you want to know more about the camera, I've made a video. You can check that in the description. And uh, here I've got uh, this scene with uh, normal viewport shading and I'm enabling the rendered view. And then once that is done, you should be able to see some ambient light in the scene. The ambient light is because of uh, the background connected here and uh, there is a white color background. So if you could see the surface, I can um, disconnect it actually uh, with that option and I can add uh, a background or I can add a, a simple HDR image. So here uh, in this particular section called world, I have added this background. So I'll just put a strength value of 0 0.1 and take a blue color uh, which is sort of representing the ambient skylight. And once that is done, I will switch uh, to perspective view and I will create a spotlight. I just press shift A. I can take a spotlight or I can use an area light. Anything should be okay. So I'll take an area light and then move that area light like that. And in area light, just uh, reduce the spread value to zero and then you can move that light uh, like that. So once that light is placed here, uh, there is a yellow dot here. I can select that and move that light so that it uh, slightly illuminates the uh, ground and also the wall. So it's uh, angle. And then I'll switch uh, my view to uh, the camera view. And also I scale the light here just to make it uh, look small like a window and then I will change my uh, you know orientation to the global and then move this light slightly so once the light has been placed uh, you have options to explore the power which can control the intensity of the light as per the requirement now what I'm going to do is I'll just uh, extend the uh, viewport I mean I split this uh, panel into two I just put the cursor here and then drag it like that so it splits into two parts and then change my lower panel into the shader editor. Now once that is done, make sure that you have selected the area light and then click use nodes, which brings uh, this uh, nodes of the light here. Now what you do is uh, bring the image what you have with you. For example, a Gobo image can be searched in internet and then you get a lot of Gobo images uh, from internet or you can create a Gobo image with procedural texturing and you can paint a Gobo image in your favorite painting softwares like Photoshop or Illustrator. And then bring that here. I'm just dragging and dropping like that. So it's a very simple uh, image texture node in which uh, you can browse any image that's directly you're getting here. And I'm going to connect the color to the strength and uh, then render this. So you should be able to see the image which I have uh, got with me is now illuminating my scene uh, it's faking the scene like as if there is a window behind me and uh, there's a light coming through the window and behind the window there is a tree so you get that feeling here which i have painted and faked it which can save my lots of polygons uh, in in the scene and it can generally make my scene more lighter in comparison uh, here what you are able to see is uh, that uh, with that you can also do one thing that is you can add a black body node okay so that node can be connected to the color of the emission and then you have now control over the color based on the temperature value so the color of uh, the lights are basically measured in kelvins and there's a color temperature chart across internet you can check them and the temperature ranges between 1000 kelvins to 10,000 kelvins uh, usable and then uh, if you could see, if I put a 10,000 Kelvin value, you get a blue light. 
and then thousand kelvin gets a warm light i'm warm or cool tones what is that you can get now if you see if i put 2000 you get this yellows 3000 it slowly turns white and which gives a nice evening colors and a thousand gives you all, almost twilight colors there so you can get a decent uh, white color at 4000 kelvins to 6000 kelvins so you can choose any of those colors and make the image look more organically lit okay so let me put a 3500 kelvin and you can also play with the power where it tones down the intensity of the light so gobos are a very great way to enhance the look and feel of your image adding gobos can uh, make your image look interesting it tells a story it gives the ambience of particular locality so a simple render looks a great render with gobos so explore with different images and see how gobos can actually enhance your renders and how different your current renders are without gobos and with gobos and if you, if you have anything to tell about gobos and you have anything to share please let me know in the comment section i would love to hear from you